Okay then guys, this is the second half to the autopsy of this X-ray transformer. I've been and ground all the six screws off and um, was very careful not to contaminate the inside of the transformer head as it wouldn't do it very much good if I got loads and loads of brass and other bits and bobs flying inside of there. So now what I'm going to do is take this out because it's loose now. I took all the screws out. Just to check that I'm on that head for you because I don't want any of you missing any of this. Not at all. So let's quick drink. Okay. Screwdriver. Where's that other one? There it is. Oops. I need to hold up and get this head back into oil because at the end of the day, with the these outputs, I still cannot find anywhere where it says what the output is of this transformer. But I mean, I mean that compared to. Well, I'll show you in a bit, compared to the other tra transformers, it's ridiculous. This looks like one of the transformers that um, Photonic has got. Inside, um, you know, the, them big transformers it's got with the big standoffs, porcelain standoffs. It looks like one of those. that on there for now until I can 100% see so that's an output and that's an output so these are both connected to that one very thin that is stick that back on there My hands are so slippy. That's the reason why I think it's all over the place. Bloody hell, man. Oh, bloody hell, that one's tight. Didn't help the fact that my hands are slippy as hell. So I've got to find a different, better uh, screw head for that one.
one out, you know you want to. Oh, shit, I should have put that one back on, shouldn't I? I forgot about that. Sorry about this, guys. It's because I'm trying to hurry up and get this ready so that you lot are not. You guys are not going to be bored when you're watching me. every single step you make when you're dealing with something like this because you just don't want to damage it in any way whatsoever and I do not want to damage this at all That's the filament side, which is the same as the other ones. Nice big thick piece of lead. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Awesome. And here is the output for the x ray tube. Disconnect this tube and show you that. So that's what the inside of it looked like. Oh dear. Okay, so this is the filament output, so I can snip these wires off here. I already know what they're like because I've had quite a few before. So now I'll to do this. Okay. Let's push that down there. See what I mean about how well these things are inside. Because um, this, they're so well held in place that there's just no well, no way really of damaging it with what I've done. What with what I've done, but um, it would take quite a bit of G-force to uh, actually damage one of these. You'd have to really, really hit it hard. Excuse my next door neighbour, she's a bit loud. But look at the side of thickness of this. This is about 2mm thick, this lead is. Around the um, x ray tube. I just need to undo these little screws. God, hands are bloody covered. So I'm going to have to 
force them the old fashioned way unfortunately. It's thick in the middle so I can't get it past those tabs so I'm going to have to cut them. I'm so careful because I do not want to damage that tube. Um, I wonder whether they will break. Force it. I don't want to force it at the end of the day. I don't know what they're made of. Some strange. I'm not sure what they're made of at all. There we go. Isn't that lovely? So now then, back to the other good thing. It's like a denture. That is just huge. My God. I think that is for that, so I don't need that one wired up. That's in there, that's a ground, that's a ground. That's that. Right. Okay. I'm going to stop the video there. I know you're all thinking, no. And um, I'll update you as soon as I've wired it up because I'm going to have to get this in oil into a proper container and uh, wire it up properly and then I'll get back to you. So keep, keep your eyes out guys and thanks for watching.